Hi guys, um, I wanted to do a quick little haul today because while well, I put on my makeup, so I thought might as well take advantage of it and do a little haul. It's not going to be huge, but I picked up a few things, so yeah, let's. Uh, I'm going to show you guys. I have to lay down a moisturizer every time I apply makeup, or just every day basically, um, that has SPF. And this is one I've been using, you probably have seen this on my channel, this is the Body Shop Vitamin C Daily Moisturizer SPF 30. As you can see, it's pretty much gone. So I went to uh, the store today and picked up this. This is from La Roche Posay. I watched a video, a video on Gothamista's channel, and she recommended a La Roche Posay. Um, she had a video on like sun her favorite sunscreens, and most of them were like Japanese. And she recommended one from La Roche Posay, but I don't think there is the exact one that they sell here. So I just got this one. This is. Anti brilliance, which means anti shine, and these and anthelios. I'm not sure what that means. 50 plus SPF. So I thought it was good because it's a high SPF. It has a pump. I'm not sure if you can get this in the U.S. though. So anyway, so it squeeze out like this. It's it is white, which I thought it wouldn't be. I don't know why because it says like uh, it says dry touch gel cream. And it looks and kind of smells a lot like sunscreen. It actually smells, doesn't, yeah, it smells like sunscreen. It also kind of smells like leather, which is weird. It's a bit tacky once you, when you're like rubbing it. But once it's completely um, dry on the skin, I wore it under makeup today, this like during the day today. It didn't really make me oily or anything like that. So yeah, so far so good definitely like the fact that it's SPF 50. I feel really protected with this, so pretty happy with it. It was only like 15 euros, so why not, I thought, you know? Anyway, so next thing I picked up is this. This is the Bourjois Air Matte Foundation. Literally, I do not need another foundation in my life. I have so many foundations, and I don't even use all of it. I probably use like 20% of what I have. Um, most of my stuff is in New York, but I don't really have a matte finish foundation the closest one i can think of is like a bobby brown bb cream that i picked up a while back but that's a little bit matte the reason why i don't have matte foundations is because i have dry skin and i think i just feel like matte foundations would kind of make my skin look even worse but with the summer coming i realized i've been getting like more shiny and i don't like how my foundation sometimes doesn't like completely set down it's like sticky or whatever so I picked this one up. I wore this all day today as well. It was dry, it was matte, and it didn't really accentuate my dryness, which is good. And I picked it up in 01 Ivory Rose, Rose Ivory. Um, surprisingly, it's not too pink, but it is a little bit too dark, which is annoying. This is the lightest shade. So that's what it looks like. By the way, last time I was in Paris, I picked this up. This is the, let me clean it. the City Radiance uh, Brightening Effect Foundation. This one is like basically the opposite of the matte one because it's like a radiance one. And this one is also in rose ivory, but the shade is much more pink. So this is what the air matte kind of looks like. I'm not sure if you can see. I am wearing it right now. I like both of these. They're not perfect shades for me, but I can make it work. The City Radiance has SPF 30 in it, which is really good. And the air matte doesn't seem like it has any SPF. Both of them, uh, I love the packaging because it's so easy for travel. It's not, not glass or anything like that. So I find that pretty great. So yeah, I've been using the Air Matte one. It's pretty good. And then also from Bourjois, I picked this up. This is the Sun Illusion Blur Skin Perfector Smooth and Flawless Tan. Oh my gosh, guys. This smells like, straight up smells like a dessert. And it's like a moussey texture. Ah! I killed the mosquito. Yes. This literally smells like a dessert. It's so crazy. And the texture of it... It's like a mousse chocolat. Do you see that? It's like so, so super soft. And the claims are really correct. So it says it's a blur... Sorry, I have the window open. The Blur Skin Perfector. And it is. Like, it's really weird. Um, sorry. When you rub it in, it kind of like has this silicone-y feel. 
really really quite interesting I, I really like it the color is a little bit orange but um, I kind of just top it off with my bronzer I've been using this like fake artiste brush I got on Amazon with it um, I just dip a little bit from the pan and kind of just give myself a little bit of bronzing around really like this I don't know it's just something about the smell and the texture and how easy it is because I feel like um, when summer is coming I kind of want to um, wean off wean weed off I kind of want to get off of like the powder products and more into cream products to look more natural so yeah I really like this um, on the same line I also picked this up super interesting this is probably the most exciting thing in this entire haul this is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Cushion De Soleil I have never seen this before in America it's basically like a cushion bronzer. I'm going to do a separate video on this, like a whole entire first impressions demo. But yeah, it's just like a, you know, I mean, I'm sure you've seen like the um, cushion foundation from L'Oreal or like any other brand, but L'Oreal specifically. But I've never seen the cushion bronzer. I, I feel like I've seen the cushion blush from someone's channel before. But anyway, so this is what it looks like. I just opened it. So it has like a cushion, which is really interesting. This cushion is quite small, smaller than most cushions. I just feel like this would be really interesting to apply because, I don't know. And then here's, I haven't opened it yet. So I'll save this for that whole video. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. Really interesting. Like I said, I want to get off of the powder products for the summer to look more natural. So I'm always down for a good bronzing product. Um... I think that's about it. I also picked up these makeup wipes, makeup wipes just because I'm running out. It says super comfort uh, waterproof. It doesn't really remove waterproof uh, mascara at all, so that's uh, a lie. But the the actual cloth removes pretty much everything else, so pretty good. Thumbs up. I like it. Oh, it doesn't irritate my eyes, which is really important because like some uh, makeup wipes do irritate my eyes and make them sting. And then I also picked this up today. This is a mascara. This is a waterproof mascara from Bourjois. It's called the Volume Reveal. Um, I think the concept behind this is supposed to look like kind of like the Eiffel Tower. That's what like the advertisement looks like. Um, I'm pretty excited to use this. It's pretty cool because it has like a mirror right here so you can kind of like look at yourself and apply I guess. Here's what the wand looks like. I really like these kind of rubber wands, so I'm hoping it'll like really grasp the lashes and make them really long. And yeah, oh, one more thing, let me grab it. Oops. Uh, I ran out of dry shampoo and I picked this one up. Uh, it's Batiste and it's the Fresh and Light scent. It's pretty good. I've been using it. It smells. It smells nice. It doesn't smell like anything in particular. It's like not too strong. I find that. I don't really like um, st uh, scents that are too strong and dry shampoo kind of gives me a headache but yeah I like this it doesn't really uh, give off residue but I don't know I can't really live without dry shampoo so um, and because I don't have oily skin I can kind of make my hair last a long time I guess I'll also show you guys like another pair of shoes I picked up okay I'll be right back I know I said like I wasn't really planning on buying anything else but I was just uh, shopping and I saw these and they were on sale and they had my size and um, if you know anything about shopping if that happens it would be like a sin to say no and you'll probably be cursed for the rest of your shopping life if you turn it down so here they are another pair of Jimmy's shoes let me open them besides the fact that it was on sale I had to say yes and it was like a little bit of a different style so I thought it could be justified. And you'll probably die when you see them because they're so pretty. Look how crazy pretty they are. These are the coarse glitter. Um, what, what are these called? They're the Luna Shadow Coarse Glitter in a nude color. And it's like a peep toe. Yeah, this is what they look like. They are actually more expensive than the Agnes style that I showed you, like the pointy toe. It's platformed, 
Uh, it's 100 millimeters, but it has like a 10 millimeter platform, so it's only like 90 millimeter height, which makes it really, really comfortable, comfortable to walk in. So I feel like they're totally worth it. Um, they were 550 euro regular, and it was on sale for 40 percent off. And on top of that, I get tax back. So amazing, amazing deal. I love this color so much. It's like a nude, um, like pretty much like a rose gold and coarse glitter so pretty i feel like these are really really cool really pretty party shoes i'm really excited about these i can't believe i got this deal to be honest like love them so much so here they are i hope you like these um and i'll link them down below i'll link the shoe down below i kind of hesitated when i saw them and when she said she had my size i was like oh my god i just bought two pairs of shoes i don't know if i should go for this and then I thought about it, and like, when are you ever gonna, like, because even when I was shocking, I could never find my size. Um, it was really hard to, like, locate my size. And they had these on sale and my size, so, like I said, had to get them, basically. They're really, really pretty. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. It's very late at night and kind of lightheaded, and, um... Yeah, but I just wanted to be on, I just wanted to record a kind of a makeup video and stuff, so. Um, I will be demonstrating this product soon in an upcoming video. Hopefully, I will film that tomorrow, actually, so I can get that up soon. Um, next weekend, I am going to, next week, I'm going to Zurich for a business meeting, and I'm going to be there for the weekend, too, just to check out the city. I've never been to Switzerland. Kind of looking forward to that. And the weekend after, I'm going back to the U.S. of A. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um... I'm going back to uh, see my parents first and my dog. Oh, I'm going to do the furry friend tag, I think, when, I, when I'm there because I miss my dog so much. Let me show you guys. He's actually on my phone cover. And uh, now you know how special he is to me. <laughs> you have to be pretty special to make it onto my phone cover. Yeah, I miss him so much. So, yeah, can't wait to see them, him and my parents. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Tell me how you're doing. I'd love to hear from you guys. You know, it's always hard to, uh, it's always hard when you're alone in a different country with not a lot of friends, um, not your boyfriend or your family or anything like that. But uh, I love having this platform and um, you guys to talk to. So it's really great. I'm really thankful for that. Oh my God. I've become one of those people. My boyfriend, I, my boyfriend always makes fun of the people that I watch and they're like going on and on and on about not making fun but he's just like thinks it's funny how they're like oh my god i'm so thankful and so blessed like i can't believe it. Blah, blah 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 like all that you know okay i'm gonna stop now and uh upload this video i'll see you guys next time thanks so much for watching bye